probably about 10 foot candles or so. Task lighting is specific task. Specific task meaning, um, you know, either reading or, or writing or cooking or, um, um, or repairing something, you know, a task. That requires generally about 40 to 50 foot candles or sometimes uh, if you are doing very small, um, working on small objects, you may need even a little higher. Accent lighting is the lighting that is used to highlight certain things at home, for example, a, a, a painting or a statue or something, if you want to highlight that, that is accent lighting. Um, and you need, you should be able to design lighting for certain areas. Uh, that's something that you may want to look at. Um, design in the sense how to pick up, you know, based on the area. Let's say you're designing for a general purpose hallway. If, uh, you have 10 square feet, and each square foot requires about 10 lumens, which means 100, um, 100 square feet requires 1,000 lumens. So that's how you should be able to figure out. Uh, color rendering index, you know, different uh, lighting produces uh, different abilities to look at the true colors. And uh, you need to know um, the color rendering index. It is measured as from zero to a on a scale from zero to 100, and 100 being perfect colors uh, or absolutely no color shift. Uh, and that is generally possible in uh, natural light. And when you have a room, how many lamps are required? That depends on how many lumens you need, total area and lumens. And uh, each bulb gives out a certain number of lumens. Uh, and uh, how many bulbs you require um, based on that. Uh, for example, if you have a room of 100 square feet, and um, you need, um, let's say, 20 foot candles, which means 20 lumens per square foot. So every square foot requires 20 lumens. So in this case, 20 times 100 will be 2,000 lumens is what we would be needing for that room. And uh, let's say if, it, uh, if a 60 watt bulb gives you 1,000 lumens, you need two of these bulbs uh, to get that 2,000 lumens. So that's how you... Uh, and not only that, there are other factors like reflectance uh, of the walls uh, and um, also the light fixture efficiency and so on and so forth. So you need to know the factors that affect particularly the number of lamps required. Types of lighting, you need to know the differences between incandescence, fluorescence, and high intensity discharge lamps, you know, how you produce the light. Uh, the process and uh, the um, basically the hardware that is involved in, and uh, you should be able to perform life cycle analysis. In other words, if you have two different types of lighting, for example, um, for example, you have incandescent light, and uh, you may have uh, CFL, and um, each bulb, you know how how to perform life cycle analysis. Life cycle analysis is cost to own and operate for the entire life cycle over the lifetime. And remember, you have to compare for the same life period, both of these, uh, not different lifetimes. If one bulb lasts 1,000 hours and the other one lasts 8,000 hours, you have to use eight of these 1,000 watt, 1,000 uh, hour bulbs to compare, actually. And cost to own cost to supply the energy, energy cost, and maintenance cost together will be the lifetime cost. Similarly, you have to do for this and figure out which one is cheaper. And there is a problem. Uh, there is an example in the textbook on pages 251 and 252 uh, that talks about life, life cycle analysis. And I want you to be familiar with this. And there will be a couple of problems involving this on the exam. And you need to know how to measure efficacy of uh, lighting, which is lumens per square, lumens per watt. Watt is the input, that is the power that we put in, and the lumens is what we get out of a lamp. So that we need to know lumens per watt, uh, that is the efficiency. And these are some of the things that we can do at home, like using switches, um, snap switches, or using 